Hello friends, in the last few videos we discussed about chromosomal aberration. This is the change in structure of chromosome. We discussed about types of chromosomal aberration. We discussed deletion and duplication in detail. Then we discussed about inversion and translocation. You can refer these videos. The link is given in the description box and today we are going to discuss about Robertsonian translocation. So stay tuned. Robertsonian translocation. It is a type of reciprocal translocation. We have already discussed reciprocal translocation in the translocation video. You can refer that video to understand it better. This Robertsonian translocation was discovered by American biologist William Reese Robertson in grasshopper in 1916 hence the name robertsonian translocation it is also known as whole arm translocation or centric fusion it occurs in acrocentric chromosome in humans chromosome number 13 14 15 21 and 22 are acrocentric chromosome now what is acrocentric chromosome Acrocentric chromosome has centromeres situated such that one chromosomal arm is much shorter than the other arm. This is the acrocentric chromosome here. Centromere is situated near one end. So one arm is very short and the other is long. Now what is Robertsonian translocation? It is a chromosomal abnormality where two chromosomes break. These two chromosomes are acrocentric and the long arm fuse to form a single chromosome with single centromere. Short arm also join to form a smaller reciprocal product and is usually lost within a few cell division. But this loss of the smaller reciprocal product does not have any ill effect to the individual because these short arms consist of non-essential genes which is also present elsewhere in the genome. So let us understand this. These are the two non-homologous acrocentric chromosome. This chromosome breaks at this point and this chromosome breaks at this point. This long arm and this long arm with the centromere fuses now it behaves as a single chromosome with centromere. These two short fragments also joins. But this is gradually lost. Or consequently this fragment is lost. So here this fragment of acrocentric chromosome is exchanged for this fragment. And this fragment of the chromosome is exchanged for this fragment. So it is an example of reciprocal translocation. Now let us see the effect of Robertsonian translocation. What ha happens when Robertsonian translocation takes place in any individual? When in Robertsonian translocation, long arm of one chromosome joins with the long arm of another acrocentric chromosome as seen in the figure. The heterozygous carrier is phenotypically normal. So the carrier in which this translocation takes place is normal. But the offsprings that these carrier produce may inherit an unbalanced trisomy. Trisomy means that these have extra copy of any chromosome and this causes certain syndromes. In some cases, certain syndromes are seen in the offsprings. Example, trisomy 21 Down syndrome where extra copy of chromosome number 21 is present. Trisomy 13 Patau syndrome in this extra copy of chromosome number 13 is present. This type of the Robertsonian translocation occurs in one in a thousand newborns and most frequently it occurs between 
these acrocentric chromosomes 13 and 14, 14 and 21 and 14 and 15. Now let us understand the effect of Robertsonian translocation with the help of the diagram or let us discuss how the Robertsonian translocation affects the progeny. So this is the individual it is 2n total number of chromosome is 46 we are showing chromosome number 14 and 21 because here we will explain how Robertsonian translocation between the chromosome number 14 and 21 affect the progeny of this individual. So there will be six possible type of the gametes that this individual can produce during the gametogenesis. This is the normal gamete with one copy of each chromosome number 41 and 21. This gamete has 14 by 21 chromosome number 14 and 21 which shows the Robertsonian translocation. Here one copy of the normal 14 chromosome is present plus 14 by 21. Here one copy of 21 chromosome is present. Chromosome number 14 is missing. Mm -hmm. Here one copy of chromosome number 14 is present. Chromosome number 21 is missing. Here if you see one copy of the normal chromosome number 21 is present and one 14 by 21 chromosome is present. Now when these gametes are fertilized by the normal gamete containing one copy of chromosome number 14 and one copy of chromosome number 21. Then the gigots or the offsprings that we get, if this gamete fuses with this gamete, so both are normal, the individual that we will get will be normal containing two copies of chromosome number 14, two copies of chromosome number 21. If this fuses with this gamete, so it will have one copy of normal chromosome 14, one copy of normal chromosome 21 and one 14 by 21. So this individual will be balanced carrier because these have genes present in the chromosome number 14 and genes present in the chromosome number 21 in two copies. So it will behave normal, but it will be carrier. It can affect its progeny if this normal gamete fuses with this gamete. So here will, there will be two copies of the normal chromosome number 14, one copy of normal chromosome number 21 and one chromosome 14 by 21 showing the Robertsonian translocation. As a result of which there will be three copies of chromosome number 14 and two copies of chromosome number 21. That means there is one extra copy of chromosome number 14. So the individual will have 47 chromosome instead of 46 chromosome with one copy of extra chromosome 14. So it is known as trisomy 14. If this gamete fuses with this gamete, then there will be two copies of chromosome number 21, but only one copy of chromosome number 14. One copy of chromosome number 14 is missing. So the total number of chromosome will be 45 and this is known as monosomy 14 if this normal gamete fuses with this gamete so there will be two copies of chromosome number 14 but only one copy of chromosome number 21 again this will have total number of chromosome 45 instead of 46 chromosome because one chromosome 21 is missing so it is known as monosomy 21 if this normal gamete fuses with this gamete, so there will be one copy of the normal chromosome 14, two copies of the normal chromosome 21 and one copy of chromosome 14 by 21. Thus, there will be two copies of the chromosome 14, three copies of chromosome 21. That means one extra copy of chromosome 21 is present. So there will be total 47 chromosome. This is known as trisomy 21 because it has extra copy of chromosome 21 and this leads to Down syndrome in individual. Down syndrome we have already discussed under the topic aneuploidy. You can refer my video, the link is given in the description box. So this is all for today's video. With this, we have covered most of the topics of genetics. In the next video, we will start with new topic evolution. It is also one of the important topic for CSIR net exam. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.